Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video continuing the adventures of Lip. Uh, I'm gonna jump right into it because I no doubt think that I'm going to be talking a lot, so... Alright, let's go in here. Obviously our girl Lip is gonna be one of them. Uh, I fully expect a very bullshit boss, because that's what happened last time. So let me see if I can... what's my best archer here? It's not Arjuna, he's my most used archer, but he's a crap archer. Um, and that's, that's harsh. He's not crap. He's not what I like, but he's not crap. Sure, let's go with this. Mm, let's roll. I have no idea, by the way, I always, I'm going into this blind. And now here we are, making our way to the exit. Now I see, I'm sorry for the trouble my real self caused you. I'm the lip from the mine secret uh, second secret garden, so I don't know much how much use I can be. By the way, we fell inside Lip's Breast Valley, and that's why we're here. Also, the name of this feature is called Escape from Lip Valley because I can't use breast on YouTube. But I'll do the best I can to help you get back to uh, back out, Wookie. Also, you should leave a like, by the way. You guys have actually been very good. The people who are watching it, not a lot of people, but every almost all of you, leaving that like, and I appreciate it. Although. <sighs> I don't see why Mother BB is here too. But why is she even acting like my mother now anyway? She can buzz off for all I care. Stupid and sensitive BB. Stupid noisy nurse always doing more harm than good. She's just a cruel AI who doesn't know the difference between caring and controlling. Even when she realizes her charge her char her charge hates her treatment. What? Even when she realizes her charge hates her treatment, she can't stop herself. Can you imagine getting so swept up in your own desires you lose sight of everything else? It's pathetic. She loves to call me dense, but what am I supposed to do about it? If I'm dense, the only possible explanation for it is that I got it from her. If she wants me to wise up, then she better start by fixing her own issues first. Of course, we all know she'll just bug out the more she tries to fix herself, so... She never was very smart. I've never heard you be so aggressive before. I see, so this is Secret Garden 2 version. I've never heard you be so progressive before. Much as it pains me to say it, given how she's one of my own alter egos, this is Passion Lips' true nature, at least one side of it. Matrochistic? Macho no, that's not how you pronounce it. Match. Meth. One moment. I'm gonna pause. Masochistic, that's the way I was trying to pronounce it. Masoch masochistic nature might be pretty- I'm so bad at reading when it's a fucking 4am in the night. Ma masochistic- god damn it. Masochistic might be pretty hard skill that makes you an object of derision just for existing, but it's not like there's no reason for it. The person at the center of it is still partially responsible. Hmm. No, I'm not. I didn't do anything wrong. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection, you know? I've stopped depending so much on others. I'm doing more things for myself. I'm learning and growing every day. Right, Wokey? I have grown, haven't I? Uh, you sure have, looking downward. Oh! See, I'm not the same old lip who got bullied just for existing anymore. She is really doing the pog phase. I've mentally grown up a whole bunch. In fact, I'll say right now, I'm officially leaving my masochistic nature behind forever. Masochistic. There you go. Yikes, I didn't realize her head had gotten as big as her chest. No wonder she hasn't been feeling right. Our secret gardens may contain secrets and weaknesses, but they're not flaws. Not to mention she evidently doesn't even understand the personalities that change on a dime. Still, I'm sure it won't be long before reality slaps her back down. For now, I see our next obstacle. From here on, you and Lip can do all the fighting. How far will Lip and her good girl act take you? I look forward forward to finding out from the director's chair. Bye, BB. Bye, BB. It looks like we're in some kind of plaza. Whew, I don't see any reliefs. Reliefs? Oh, uh, the, the Sakura Labyrinth. Reliefs are the world's edges that block off the exits. Um, they're kind of like... The girl who's acting as the Labyrinth's core is engraved into the walls at the same time. But that doesn't matter right now. This isn't the far side of the moon anyway, so please just forget I said anything. That's right, this is a simplified soccer labyrinth. You won't find any Venus statues here. 
But that's not to say there aren't some other guards around. Take a look over that way, Whoopi. Damn, we were just getting to the good part. Where'd that overgrown freak go anyway? How did how'd someone so huge manage to hide just because I took my eyes off her for a second? Well, now I'm just too pissed to give up. You didn't let her get away because you felt bad for her or anything like that, did you? How about you, middle child? I bet you're the kind of goody two-shoes who goes around putting beach turtles back in the water, aren't you? That's not true. I just got so upset as anyone else. Well, maybe I did feel a little bad for her. I agree that letting that servant run free will do Caldea no favor. She must be dealt with. It does go against my own beliefs to gang up on an opponent, but I am willing to bend the rules in this case. Let us all go after her. For that matter, I think the three of us make uh, for a rather fair fight. Wouldn't you agree, Para? Indeed. Our patience has its limits. She's gone too far. I can no, overlo I can no longer overlook her arrogance and foul mouth. Oh, sorry, you're so small. I didn't see you. Too bad you weren't born a boy, huh? When she said those things to me, I understood what it meant to put on airs. I will not be satisfied until she has been duly punished. Another interesting assortment here. Huh? Ah, there you are, you overgrown freak. How dare you run away from me before I'm done whipping you? What, you're not scared now that you've got a... Friend? Backing you up? If there's no one thing I can't say, it's a girl who can't fight her own battles. Well said. What sort of tank are you hiding behind someone else? You do not uh, see me doing that to you? <laughs> you there, you should know that lady behind you right now is positively overflowing with issues. If you truly care for her, you should let her face her own corporal punishment. Indeed, and by corporal punishment, we would mean stringing her up, say the words, and I shall excise her excessive padding myself. One must fight fire with fire and venom with venom. Long have I bemoaned my serpent's curse, but it will help me vanquish this foe today. I am grateful. Oh no, it's... it's... Um, sorry, have we met? None of you really all that memorable, so I don't recall. Oh, she's so dead. I'm, I'm usually not into having other women wait on me, but... You're not? Well, not that much, but in her case, I don't know. There's just something about that woman that makes me want to torment the hell out of her. Agreed. Like Lady Lip, my karma, uh, my karma curses me to bear baseless tortures on others' hands. And yet, for some reason, I am overcome with the desire to make her ball her eyes out. I shall steal away her skills, steal away her noble phantom, and send her off to the parry so to lose some of that monstrous weight. I wouldn't go that far. I only wish for her is to be more careful with her language, and yet... Every spy bone in my body is calling for me to punish this abomination. What sort of outfit is that anyway? If you must wear something with a flower motif, at least make it a lily. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know why it came to this, but it looks like we, they want to fight. Uh, I hate dealing with weaklings. They never know when to give up. Oh, but don't worry. This might take some time, but it'll end as quickly as I can. It should be a good way to blow off some steam. Alright. I like getting blown off. Hey -o. Hey -o. Blow. Getting blown off. Ah, loading, loading, loading. It is always loading. Now, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. What? Well... Dion's not a very good unit. Well, I mean, we'll see, right? Spoiled eldest sister, cute second sister, similar, <laughs> similar third sister. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay. I'm going to deal with uh, her first. Uh, well, not her, Dion. Dion is, um, both genders, or at least, that's what the, um, uh, the, uh, the material for Dion says. So they would be a they, I guess. They don't really lean one way or the other. They, they are, they are both. Mainly because I believe the actual person was also both. They had, um, I think Dion Shalo or something. When they died, uh, it had been widely thought that they were one or the other. Um, 
And then when they died, they found both set of genitalia on them, so it turned out like, oh, they actually were both genders. They just hit it very well. Or made it so that it was very hard to tell, I guess. Just put it a little bit lower. There we go. Mm. I'll just do that. It's not gonna deal enough damage, but I'm gonna deal damage anyway. It's not the worst. Unfortunately, that was why I wanted to get Dion killed as soon as possible. Maybe because they're super annoying. Alright, let's try this. Let's see, I can't remember if Tion is for one entire turn or if it's for everything. I don't remember. We'll find out. I need to turn off the Noble Phantasm slowdown. I forgot I had it on, still. You do get to see that close up jiggle, though. So maybe it was all good. Oh, yeah, she has Ignore that. Oh, right, that's right. That is awesome. Oh, wait, she didn't have Ignore, I guess. Still awesome, though. I like Lip. I think she's cool. Hmm. What was I going to do? I was going to turn. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, now, unfortunately, this tiny girl is going to do her noble phantasm. I can't remember if she's AoE, though. If she is, that's going to be very unfortunate, because that's dead. That's a dead lip and waver, I think. Alright, there goes Beyond. Please be single target, please be single target, please be single target, please be single target. Yes! Perfect. Well, there goes Lip, but it's fine. Honestly. I forgot that you were there, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Then I'll do this. Then I'll fight. Wait. There we go. That should be enough, I think. We'll find out, I guess. If it's not enough, then I hope, hopefully, it removes a charge from her noble phantasm. Time for a swim. Get wet, Medin. Maeve. Queen the Maeve. Nah, she got wet already. That's the charge off, that's something. God damn it. Of course, you hit the one guy who could actually get hit by that move. Drink that H2O, girl. Mmm. Very bad. That's worse. Mmm. I think she can kill. Could it real damn close? Hopefully this will lower her noble phantasm charge. Time for a swing. Alright, she's dead. That's 100%. That's a KO. Nice, nice, nice. That was much easier than the Hijikata fight. Oh, 
Oh, 2,000. Let's go. Really? That's all they gave me? That sucks. It's not the greatest. At least for where I'm at in the game. It's like, uh, I don't need any of that. I already have everyone fully leveled up. What do I need with statues? Alright, that's it. Well, join me for the last part next episode. Alright, goodbye everyone. Have a nice day.